Hello, my name is Eric and welcome to a chest, core and shoulders day for upright bow flexes. I've got a bow flex exceed here that I'll be working out on, but you can do this routine on a bow flex extreme or a PR 3000. And we're going to be running our resistance through this middle set of pulleys here. And I've got mine in the second and narrowest position. And we're going to be adjusting that a little bit throughout today's routine. Hopefully this is all really easy to follow though. I'm going to have little previews of the lifts as we go throughout this routine. And also you're going to see me writing down all of my resistance settings and the number of repetitions I did on this sheet of paper here. And there is a link to a PDF that you can download so you can do this exact same thing. And the reason I'm doing that is this routine here is part of a larger program that I'm releasing on the channel. And uh, basically you're gonna come back to this routine multiple times throughout that program. And as you come back to it, well, first off, you're gonna know the resistance you did last time. So there's no guessing on what resistance I should set up. And what I want you to do then is to try to beat either the resistance setting or the number of repetitions you did when you come back to this routine. And that's how you're going to get stronger. You're going to collect this data and then you're going to beat last time's uh, scores or weight setting. Got a couple things to mention. I'll be using these elastic bands as a way to upgrade my resistance. If you're not familiar with that, there's a link in the description covering that. Uh, as part of the band upgrade, it did have the shorter handles I'll be using for the first half of the routine. The second half of the routine, I'm going to switch back to the normal Bowflex handles. Basically, the shorter ones, resistance kicks in sooner. The longer ones, I need it for some exercises where you need a little bit more cable length. I'm going to be doing 10 reps for all of my sets, but you can do 6, 8, 10, 12, any number of reps you want to do. I want you to plant that number in your mind though, and that's what you're aiming for on all of those sets. So again, I'm doing 10 and after each set, there's going to be this clock here counting down our rest intervals. So normally it's going to be one minute of rest between each set. There's going to be a few lifts though, where we're only working out half the body. And on those, our rest interval is going to be a little bit shorter. And also if there's any sort of pulley adjustment or weight adjustment between different uh, exercises, there might be a little bit of bonus rest built in. So uh, before I go any further, I do want to mentioned this might not be the best routine if you're a beginner or if you're new to the channel. Well, first off, welcome if, if that's the case. I do have plenty of other routines on the channel that might be a little bit more beginner friendly. This is definitely a more advanced routine, but if you've got a lot of weight training experience in the past, well, you might be able to move right on into this one. So uh, finally, don't forget to hit that like button. Lots and lots of work went into designing this routine and filming and editing and all that good stuff. Likes are a good way to show some love. So I think that's everything and uh, let's get into the workout. All right, I hope you're all warmed up and stretched out and we're gonna start racking up our resistance. Now, our first lift is gonna be a chest press. And for a lot of people, chest press is gonna be the heaviest weight setting they can do, at least with their upper body. And so I'm gonna be racking up 50 pounds of power rods on each side and also 110 pounds of elastic bands. So I'm going pretty heavy on this. Um, we're all at our own levels and I've got a couple recommended weight settings depending on you know where you're at up on the screen here. But you know, adjust that as needed. And keep in mind too, with this routine, you can adjust the weight setting between every single set. So, um, you know, if, uh, if you need to start out a little bit lower to get acclimated with the exercise, th that's okay. Uh, one other thing too, we are going to be removing this seat for now. We'll be using it later on in the routine, so don't set it too far away. So again, this is chest press. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be kind of squatting down a little bit, not as low as you go with a normal seat. And then you're just going to grab these handles from behind you here. And you're then going to have your hands over the handles, not underneath like this. You're going to have them over the handles. And basically you're then going to firmly place your, you know, your back up against the backrest. And then you're going to press these handles out in front of you. And the handles should end up maybe just a little bit below shoulder height when you're fully extended. So I want everybody joining me here in just a few seconds. We got 10 of them here. Let's go. There's one, two. You're going to be exhaling as you press out. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. and 10. All right. So go ahead and write down that weight setting used and then your number of reps. And if you want to, you can adjust that weight setting. I'm going to keep mine as it is here. 
That resistance felt pretty good to me. And normally when I do these routines when the camera is off, I have about 10% more weight on here. But uh, because I'm talking the whole time, I got to be pacing myself. So we're going to have a full minute again between all these sets. When the clock has about 10 seconds remaining on it, though, I want you getting in position so you're not late to start the set. Okay, so again, let's go ahead and get in position. Squat it down just a little bit. You don't need to go as low as I did. Totally up to you. And we're going to grab these handles and get ready to go in two, one. Now let's press it out. There's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, focus on your breathing. If you're struggling, there's eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Now with all of our lifts, I'm going to be trying to do a cadence of about three seconds for the full repetition. Most of the time I'm kind of exploding outward or not too, too much of an explosive movement, but pressing out between half a second to a second, maybe hold it for about half a second and then try to slowly retract that weight. And then that's one. So keep that in mind. We're not trying to you know, go super fast here. You want to control the resistance all the way through. So let's get in position for another set here. All right, let's press it out. There's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. All right, so if you completed that set there and felt like you probably could have done four or five more reps, I want you just cr like increasing that resistance just a little bit here. You know, maybe throw on 10 or 20 pounds more on each side. And then this final set, if you can't do the full 10, that's okay. You know, if you barely did the 10 on the last couple, you can keep the resistance the same. I felt like I could have gotten maybe two more in on that last set. So I'm going to keep it where it's at. All right. Everybody in position here. Try to keep your form together. It's easy for your form. One, for your form to fall apart in this last set. Three. There's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. All right, well done. So our next lift is going to be a standing shoulder press. And for me, I need to decrease the weight by about 25% when I do that. So I'm going to drop a 50 pound elastic band off of my machine here. And we're going to see, I'll be adding that weight back on later in this routine. And I'm going to be leaving my pulley position uh, just in the same spot here.
Okay, so for this, we're going to be standing just like we did for our standing chest press, except you're going to bend your knees just a little bit less. So your shoulders should be well above the backrest here. Um, you can drop, I guess, a little bit lower than this. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to take these handles and you'll see now I have my hands underneath the handles. And then what we want to do is basically just press up, go as straight up and down as possible. You might need to go a little bit forward. That's okay. And then we're just going to do a set of 10 just like that. So I want everybody in position here joining me in just a few seconds. Let's get those hands on the handles. And let's go. There's one, two, exhale on the way up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. All right. Nice. Write that setting down. And then keep in mind how that felt. Do you need to adjust the weight or not? That was tough. I'm going to, I'm going to keep it where it's at for me, but uh, I can't guarantee I'll be finishing all 10 reps in both of these sets, but You know, we're just going to do the best we can here. Okay. Let's everybody grab those handles and let's get in position here. Two, one, extend it up. There's one, two, three, four. Keep looking straight ahead. There's five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay, let's write it down. I may have counted to ten. I only got nine in there myself. So we're going to have some ab work coming up after this and we'll be grabbing the seat in just a moment, hooking it up and then we're gonna do some torso twist. So gonna let us, you know, our arms and our shoulders and whatnot recover a bit here. But we got this final set of shoulder press coming right up. All right, 10 seconds remain. Let's grab those handles, get in position. All right, I want you working with me here. Two, one, let's extend them up. Come on. Two, three, four, five, six. Come on, keep fighting. It's seven, eight. Nine and ten. All right. Again, I only got a nine there. Be honest with yourself as you're writing that down, though. So our uh, seat. Let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to put it in the highest position for now. And then I'm going to move these handles to the widest position on both sides here. So now that I got the pulleys in the widest setting, I'm also going to adjust my weight. I'm going to be dropping 
from 160 pounds on both sides down to 130 pounds for these torso twist. Again, that's 130 on each side. So I dropped the weight by about 20% here. And uh, now I'm gonna be all set up here. So for torso twist, I kind of like planting my outer leg uh, at the base of the machine here. And then I grab the handle here. And then I'm basically just gonna be twisting this weight across my body. And what you really wanna do is plant yourself firmly in the seat here. And as you twist, you wanna be focusing on twisting with your midsection. Don't be throwing the weight around with your arms. So everybody join me here. And let's twist. Oh, and another thing here too, I like twisting really quickly and then slowly retracting. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so I'm gonna just spin around and do that on the other side. Uh, a little bit shorter rest interval here because we're working a different side of the body. Don't need as much recovery time. Now also, if you wanna do a couple extra reps, you know, I did 10 there, I'm gonna do 12 for the rest of these torso twists. You know, get that number in mind and no compromising here. Don't give up because, you know, you, you hit an even number. Do that number that you want or at least give it all you can. Here we go, two, one, let's twist. That's one, two. Again, slowly retract, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna write those weights, those numbers down, and then we're getting right into the next set. Now, for me, as I do these. I'm exhaling as I twist away from the machine. I'm inhaling a little bit as I twist back. And for me, when I twist back, it feels like somebody just like punched me in the gut or something. I think that's kind of the feeling you want to have, that you're a little bit winded. Or you, that you had the wind knocked out of you. That's two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay. Quick breather. I'm not sure if the reason you get that wind knocked out of you feeling is because you have this big contraction in your core muscles. Uh, maybe, maybe that's it. All right, let's just get in position for that next one. Here we go, two, one, and twist. Slowly retracting, that's two right here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12, okay. 
We've got a little bit more time for recovery here, and we're moving into a wide chest press coming up here. And for this wide chest press, I'm going to use the same resistance setting as I did for the standing chest press. So I'm going to be adding my elastic bands back, going up to 210 pounds of resistance on each side. Granted, this is elastic band and power rod resistance, which I've found to be about half of what is, uh, is in the marketing material at least. So and that's, and that's at full resistance. So anyways, uh, chest press, we are just going to be grabbing these handles out wide and you can have the handles over your hands or underneath, whichever feels better to you. I like having mine over or the handles over my hands here. And then we just be pressing this weight together in front of me. So there's one and two and the handles don't have to touch, but they should come together a bit. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, exhale as you press away, nine, and 10. Okay. Now write that weight down and those reps and adjust from here. And you know, one adjustment you can make on this one, if you have a little bit more a narrow shoulders is you can move it in one position from the widest to the second widest. I'm going to leave mine as is though. Take a couple deep breaths. We got a few more seconds here. All right, grabbing those handles. Let's get in position. Back firmly against the backrest here. And let's press out. That's one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Didn't think I need my uh, my gloves today. My hands are sliding around a bit here now. And both of these handles, whether it's the Bowflex ones or the other ones, once my hands get sweaty, I keep sliding around. And if you got that problem, get some weightlifting gloves, like 10 bucks or something, and uh, they can help you a lot. So you don't fail with the grip, all right. Let's get in position here. Here we go in two, one. Let's press it out. That's one, two, three, four. Final set of this. Come on. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Whew. I definitely struggled on that one. 
But uh, we're going to have a little bit more chest work in a little bit here. But first, we're going to do a single shoulder fly. So bring your resistance in one setting. So I've got mine in the second widest position here. And now I'm going to drop the weight by more than half. So I'm going to go from 210 pounds to 80 pounds. So well, I'm almost dropping it by about 60% here. So, you know, I'm going to just do this one side here and demo the lift. I'll get the other side later here. We're going to be doing a one arm shoulder extension here. So I'm basically going to be seated like I was with my torso twist here, except I'm going to be actually leaning against my, uh, my backrest here. And then I am just going to be flaring this handle out nice and wide here. So if, again, I got 80 pounds on. If you need to adjust the weight setting, you can do so. Let's go ahead and follow along here though. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice and smooth reps here. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. the backrest, my arm ready to extend out, and there we go. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stay in control here, eight, Nine and ten. Okay, a short rest interval here. Right down that weight. and ready to rotate around it. There we go, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. I don't know how much the handle noise is coming through. I hope it's not too bad. It is uh, squeaking and rubbing right next to my microphone. Hopefully I can uh, get that muted a bit. Okay, last one of these. To get in position here. Elbow out and rotate. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. Okay, so we got a longer rest interval here and we're gonna be moving a few things around. So I'm gonna take this pulley and I might put it up into this top position like I would for, um, for some crunches. And that's what we'll be doing here in a little bit. But first we've, we're gonna have a standing decline press. Okay, so I had to start and stop the video a few times. Pause this as needed. We got a lot of adjustments to make. So our first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these handles and we're gonna move them to this top set of pulleys here. And also we're gonna take off these shorter handles if you're using those and put on the normal Bowflex handles at this point. So let me go ahead and start doing that now and then I'm gonna adjust my weight setting. So handles up and swapped over. And now for my weight setting, I have 80 pounds of power rods on both sides right now. I'm actually gonna double that resistance and go up to 160 pounds of power rods, uh, or 100 pounds of power rods plus a 60 pound band here. And then from there, we're gonna get into that decline chest press. So I get this all racked up. And for my decline chest press, basically, I'm gonna stand here. I'm gonna have my feet kind of wider apart. And then I'm gonna have my back to the tower, just like I did with some of these other chest press. And then I'm gonna just press this weight down and towards my knees here. And again, you can kind of move your feet how you want them. And then the weight is gonna come out a little bit wider than shoulder width apart as you press down. So there's one two, three, four, exhaling as you press down, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, okay. One full minute of rest here, right down that weight setting. And then you got a moment to, for yourself. So you can probably notice why we changed the handles if you're using the other ones. Because at this top section here, the power rods are already kind of like pre-bent further. And so that resistance is really the start. So this decline, even though we're doing less weight, it still should be pretty challenging. And we're just basically working different areas of, of the pectoralis muscles here. So this is gonna hit the little bit lower parts of the, your, your pecs. Okay, a little bit more in 10 seconds. I want you to get in position here. I'm gonna put my feet on the platform this time and I'm gonna be basically pressing down towards my knees. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. and 10. Okay. You're going to have one more set for your chest. And then, uh, that's, then we're just abs from here on out. All right, let's get in position here. Dip down just a little bit. And now let's press out. There's one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, almost there, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, extended break here. I'm gonna be dropping the weight down to 120 pounds. So I'm dropping 25% off of both sides here. And then this is all ab work from here. Okay, hopefully you're all racked up. Get a little more time. And what I'm gonna do, drop the seat one level here. So it's one setting lower than I normally do chest work. And then I'm gonna take these handles, and I'm gonna pull them down just a little bit so they're a little bit beneath my shoulders. And then you can either plant your knees or you can have your knees floating, which is what I'll try to do. And then I just go down into a nice crunch here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12, all right, I'm gonna be doing 12 for all of these sets of abs. So let's write that down. And then we got a full minute rest here for all these final sets. Now, as you're doing this, I mentioned you could either kind of have your legs floating out in front of you or you can kind of plant your legs. And by planting, you can generally do a little bit more weight because you have a little bit more leverage and whatnot. Um, for me, though, I find that kind of hard on my knees and also my ankles. But uh, if that's not a problem for you, plant away. Just, just you know, be looking out for any pain in those joints. But for that reason, though, I like floating those legs out. Okay, 10 seconds. Let's get in position here. All right, let's crunch. There's one, two, three, four. Try to raise up slowly. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12. All right. One more of those to go. I don't know about y'all, I need this rest interval today. This time is our time. Let's make the best of it. So let's go ahead and get in position here. Hold that handle down just a little bit and get ready to join me here in just a few seconds. All right, let's crunch. There's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11 and 12. Okay. So we're going to go into another ab exercise. And basically, this is going to be an extended arm crunch. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have my arms extended out in front of me here. And what I want to do is I'm going to go into a crunch, except I'm only going to really be moving my shoulders off of the backrest. And really going, just kind of imagine, you know, if you were on the ground here doing a crunch, and a lot of times your, your shoulders are really only coming off the ground, and then you're holding it for just a second. And through that, you're engaging, especially your upper abs. And that's what having this weight that we're holding on to does. So I want you to try doing this with me here. If this isn't working with you, I'm going to show you an alternate lift for these last two exercises. But again, I'm going to bring these handles out in front of me here and I'll crunch and then I'll release and bring them up. And then I'm going to crunch down just like this here. So here we go. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Feel that squeeze at the top of your abs. All right, that's eight. And that's where my stop at. Really, the goal here is to be engaged for that, that full 30 seconds. Now, if that lift was not working for you, I want to encourage you to keep trying it. For your final two reps, though, what I want you to do is, you know, we just did these crunches here, except I want you to go side to side just like this for your final two if the extended arm crunch did not work out. So you get two more sets and then we can call it a day here. Okay, get these arms up nice and high. Bring them down as you lift your head forward. Engage those upper abs, feel a nice squeeze. For me, that's three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. One more set to go. All right, let's finish this last set out. Perfect technique, perfect form here. And keep your head in this. All right, I'm gonna get ready to extend this down and crunch again, here we go. There's one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's it. Let's go. All right. Great job on finishing. Final thing to do is to remove those power rods from tension and then you're gonna to wanna to wrap them up with a bungee cord. So 
Excellent job on finishing. Thank you to all my elite Ko-Fi members, all my Ko-Fi members, all my viewers. If you made it to the end, thank you for that. And I hope you feel good about this routine. It's not an easy one, but you should be proud of yourself. So be good to yourself, be good to others, and thank you for watching.